that at that address lived a well-known and well-connected law enforcement family in Canton, the Alberts. Because the Alberts were involved, and because they had close connections to the investigators in this case, Karen Reed was framed for a murder she did not commit. It's a striking claim, one that requires substantial evidence to support, and we weren't disappointed. This case gave us something that the Zachariah Anderson case did not, a third-party culprit defense, essentially arguing, I didn't do it, and here's the evidence of who did. If you haven't heard of the Zachariah Anderson trial, we encourage you to listen to our first six episodes. In that case, the defense was prohibited from making accusations or presenting evidence of a third-party culprit without the judge's approval which was denied. Many people believe this significantly contributed to his wrongful conviction. However, in the Karen Reed case, the third-party defense has been central to the defense's strategy. Throughout much of the prosecution's case so far, they often seem to be on the defensive, while the defense appeared to be taking on the role of the prosecutor. But before we dive into the evidence, let's talk about what this case involves. It feels we're the only ones fighting for the truth of what happened to John O'Keefe.